Hello, hello again, loyal viewers. This is the VGamer X, and I'm back with some more Soul Calibur 6. Last time we left met our pimping skeletal friend, we saw a nice little a secret dark side to, um. <clears throat> and now. And now we shall be made to the good old city of Pashkar. But before we do that, we have some more merchant business to deal with here, so I figured I'll do that first. Merchant of the Wetlands, Bandits about. We've got three suckers to deal with, huh? Alright then. The power of invested within this Biryani. Time to whoop. When I arrived at the trading house in Dhaka, merchants I recognized from the road pair job were there to greet me, but their expressions were troubled. I bid you welcome. My name is Maharshi. I represent the merchants here in our fair city. The road that was repaired with your help is not seeing much use. Bandits raided constantly, and good and few goods make it brutal. The merchant guildmaster has asked me to help him once more by protecting goods and caravans traveling along the road. I nodded my agreement just as a woman arrived. It appears that the two knew each other. Oh, so you're this famous guard I was talking about. I would love to depart tonight, but I need an escort. Are your services available? My name is Light. It's a pleasure. The wooden road through the wetlands is filled with narrow and treacherous paths for horse carts. A little wobble can cause the wheels to slip off the planks and leave you mired. What's that? In the light moon, we spotted a number of small boats approaching stealthily through the inlets on water channels by the road. It's there! A group of armed men leapt out of their boats onto a small nearby sandbar and charged us as an ambush. We'll take the load of goods. Stand back and don't move. Not tonight. Do your job, Telematas. You're that brute that be of our friends before, aren't you? We'll make you pay for that. Bring it. It's been a while since I've played, but I, my sword skills should be as sharp as other. No pun intended. Only critical users are effective, eh? Alright, let me just do this. Before I do that, let's get a good chunk of health out of this pool. No about no to wasting it. And damn it. The well, game promised my hope. I hope the cage will still play this though. Give me that yummy soul. I mean, I still remember when I saw that trailer for Yoshi Mitsu and I saw that move. I thought that was awesome. I still think it looks awesome. Damn. I'm lucky I cannot stop. Doesn't your butt off of this. The least I can do is play some hacky stack with you. Gotcha. I have it now, but do I really need it? Finish you off. Dang it. That's right. Faith against my hockey sack skills. Did, did I say hockey sack? Like it's just you kicking a puck around? And then you just do one big old final kick into the goal. And... And then death from above. Baby. I'll get like, just the first hit just takes him out.
retreat. The bandits simply board their boats and paddle away. You're quite skilled. Thank you. I had kept the cargo safe, but something about the band's actions bothered me. The way they handled their boats and their retreat seemed practiced. In addition, we had only finalized our departure earlier today, yet they had set up an ambush and an ideal location to catch us. As I pondered the situation, my eyes met those of Lila, but my eye holes, who had been gazing at me, she offered me a brilliant smile. Are you done ruminating? Let us be off, my bodyguard. Oh, that done, and now I'm level 20. Alright, oh, alright, that's enough of that. Alright, Kashgar. After an arduous journey across the harsh desert, I found myself in the oasis city of Kashgar. I have arranged to meet my supporters here. Forgive my tardiness, sir. And, what have they decided? Sir, the twelve has spoken. Although it is unclear whether or not this subject is an outsider, the majority have voted, him to, voted to allow him to accompany us on our mission. They are treating this as a special case. Understood. Sir, I have one more thing to report. You found Aslo? Might be located in another astral fissure. Neither. The twelve wish for you to investigate a facility in the Kashgar suburbs and destroy it if possible. I have the orders here. So, oh, as well as here. Dion, Natalie, head to the facility and carry out the mission. So, I'm just good. Dion and Natalie walked off. I asked the pro what our next move is. Turn the face to The location of the actual fissure remains unknown. Be ready to leave but never necessary. Whenever your preparations are complete, here. Do that. I'm not going over there because I do know that is not a mission regarding the friendship of the blacksmith. So this is just a um, regular, just a one, one limb down of it fight. Wandering through the city, I hear a cheerful voice shouting to the crowd. I notice an energetic young woman standing in front of the shop. Gather round! Behold, Volta, the blacksmith's most beautiful blade, forged by a legendary blacksmith, and boasts untold sharpness. Despite her best efforts, the passerbys did just that. Passerby. <sighs> Nothing today either. Mm hmm? The girl caught sight of me. Hey, you! It's a fine weapon you got there! You're capable of handling yourself, too! I need you to do something for me! Here's payment, up front! She tossed over a bag of coin and drew the sword she had been selling and selling pointed it at me. It's time for a demonstration. Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. I should be saying that to you. Alright, let be careful. Oh yeah, JPS has dialogue. If you get too hurt, make sure to bolt the out of here. If this kid can hear me, she'd be rolling her eyes. Ah! You took away my pants! You are a jerk. What, what kind of sick demonstration was that? <laughs> Thanks. That'll get their attention. <laughs> well, everyone, you have witnessed a sort of action. Why not buy it? I've been throwing something extra to sweeten this pie. Slice and cut the clothes pants off of people in seconds. I don't. It's really, I just found that kind of funny. Just you take the pants off a of stone and you just get people's attention. <laughs> the demonstration seemed to have been a success, and people crowded around her. Some seemed very interested in her other merchandise too. What an excellent choice! This is our latest axe design. When the swarm of customers eventually dispersed, the blacksmith walked over to me, smiling broadly. It really saved my skin. Want to show off a weapon? Gotta use it, right? And I just looked down and was like, yeah, sure about that. I complimented her on the passion and courage and her innovative sales techniques. 
Right. And she grew flustered. Eh, I'm not doing this for the thrill of commerce. I need the money. I got something I need to get back. Anyway, who cares about that? The name's Bolta. I'm the boss of here at this, this smithy. Well, I mean, I'm the one who works here, so... yeah. Anyway, take this as a token of my thanks. I don't just make weapons, you know. I upgrade them. The material I just gave you is used to do just that. If you need to, need to upgrade a weapon, you know where to find me. I finished my preparations went to me grow. He was waiting for me. Good, you're here. The situation has changed. Dao, Dion, and Alice who have reached the facility by, by now, but I get to hear word from them. Something likely happened. They're going after them. Is that really necessary? If something happens to him, it will be on my head. Alright. Before we do all this, it looks like Volta's got a little something for me, so I should do her a bit of a favor. A hammer to metal. A Volta in a bind. Looks like we got some ruffians. Alright. Biryani, don't fail me now. That was an accident. The bustling streets of Kashgar were dyed by the colors of the setting sun. Said the setting sun. I opened a familiar door and the ring of the blacksmith's hammer paused. Welcome! Oh, it's Helmetas. You're a cypress rise. I'm just finishing up. Let's have a drink. Go on, drink up now. I would if it wouldn't go. I would, but it's gonna go right through me. It's gonna stain the pan new pants I just got. Oldest cheer seemed to force. There's something. There was something bothering her, so I asked what it was. She smiled bitterly. Rats. That obvious. The real army wants to take another look at the people who make their equipment, so they're holding an exhibition. That sort of position carries a lot of honor, so I normally leave it the chance, but the competition is stiff. I've never smith called Yashin to have been making a real name for himself lately. If his work isn't great, but his prices can't be beat. I want to go in the opposite direction. This is a smith he with techniques that have been passed down for generations. The effort I put into the metal makes it something special. But my sources of iron, good iron have dried up. There's not much time into the exposition. And I was wondering how I'd get my hands with some decent material. I asked if I could lend her a hand, and Volta smiled sheepishly. I knew you were a man I could count on. I don't want to trouble you, but here we are. Thanks for the help. Two days to travel from the city was a wide salt lake. Much of it dried up, leaving a flat, white expanse on the plain. This used to be the bottom of the sea, and high quality iron sand had accumulated here over the centuries. This line warrants the local work, but you didn't have permission to gather sand here today. You, you didn't get any permission from us, so get out of here. Your ace and thugs! <laughs> you never give up. I guess we'll have to convince you the hard way. Alright, put your dukes up, boys. And yes, by dukes I mean swords, because apparently, because the green edges from Soul Gothic 3 aren't in this game, I guess these are the, uh, Devil's Den fight styles in this either. And yeah, gotcha. Aha. I should imagine if they made a hockey's weapon, like thing like he had like the um, gauntlets on his feet and arm on, on his hands, that'd be a I think I would like that. I like a character that would fight like a character who fights with his hands. One thing I wouldn't mind the weapon they would bring is like a um kind of like hit from um in Smash Bros where it's like his combination like arrow and blade. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure the guys at Project Soul could find a way to make a, um, a bow and arrow, like a weapon. A weapon style. Damn you. We won't forget this. Watch your backs. 
ruffians uttered one last threat before fleeing the beach. That's that lot works for Aeson, a local mercenary captain. He's of noble birth, but fortune comes and goes, right? Ulta muttered as and grabbed her pick. Something was on her mind, but this was not the time to pry. The smith dug quickly through the layer of salt, revealing black earth underneath. There we are. Yes, this is the quality I was looking for. I really owe you for this. Thanks. Volvo gave me a delighted smile. And I'm. Because of my appearance, I'm always smiling back. How it works. 